Welcome to Monmouth in Focus, a program about the services and functions of Monmouth County government. I'm Commissioner Director Tom Arnone, your host for this segment of Monmouth in Focus. Today we are joined by County Commissioner Lillian Barry to talk about a remarkable organization, Soldier On, which helps our veterans in need. Um, I was able to be there with Lillian as, as she went through there, and she has a long history to, to explain to us of, of the whole program, but it's remarkable. It's truly, it's truly remarkable, and I think everybody's going to really enjoy hearing all the great things Lillian has to, to present to us. So, so Lillian. Um, Welcome. It's great. It's great to be here with you. you. And uh, I know that there's many things in government that both you and I do and the rest of the commissioners and people in general that are in elected office. But then there's certain things that are super special. Yes. Um, and I know that this is close to your heart because I saw how long you worked on it. So um, maybe to, to the public, you could just explain a little bit of what Soldier On is about. Okay. Very gladly. But, you know, an organization is as good as the people who support it and are involved in it. With Soldier On, there are some outstanding names that come to mind, to me personally. And uh, Soldier On is a nonprofit organization, and it's, uh, you could say its beginnings were in Massachusetts, and that's where they really do most of their work and focus. But there was a gentleman, and he's still there, but not as active as he had been, and that's Jack Downey and he is a force to be reckoned with. And he was never gonna take no as an answer. So Jack was the one I met for the first time, and I was hooked. This man was just remarkable in what he believed in, and he would always say, and I'll tell you the rest of the story. The rest of the story being that these were homeless or neglected veterans and um, that we were changing that. This was gonna change. It wasn't gonna continue that way. And it, believe me, it didn't. So it took me 12 years. You know, with me, <laughs> that length of time is not too, and, uh, and uh, Tom, you know that. Yes, oh, I know, it doesn't matter. Let's <laughs> yes. finish the project. I don't give up, <laughs> that's all there is to it. And uh, so uh, I had the good fortune of being told by my husband, who is a veteran, by the way, uh, I think it would be a good idea, Lillian, if you read this article in Officers Magazine, which he gets periodically, because he is a retired officer from the Coast Guard. Uh, he was uh, a, a captain, well, and he still is. You don't lose that rank. So. I have to salute him. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that, by the way. Um, but go ahead. <laughs> Nobody will, believe me. But at any rate, um, and the article really focused on Soldier On in Massachusetts and this gentleman that I mentioned, Jack Downey. So I did read it. And from that came the connection. Yes. And uh, so he. He, as I said before, he was a force to be reckoned with. So he came down to Monmouth County, and I told him what my interests were, was to develop something like that right here in Monmouth County. We knew of the number of homeless veterans that existed here, and they were well over 200. So he didn't hesitate. And from there, we went over to Seabrook and who did we meet with but Gary Baldwin. And uh, Gary- and at that time he was a councilman. He was, a, he was actually the president, president of the council, yeah. And uh, he and I served together on uh, Fort Monmouth uh, Authority. Familiar. right? So he was no stranger to me. And he's also a legitimate veteran. Oh yes. So yes. <laughs> from there we decided we would focus on the different municipalities on Fort Monmouth. How did you come across the, I know, I know that there were some different parcels that you were looking at, like you said, in the different municipalities, but it, it's ironic because, um, and, and I've been fortunate enough, Lil, as you know, that um, we were on the board together um, when you first 
so. dove into this project. And um, so I, I did watch the period of time there that you worked so diligently hard and, and ran through some obstacles yeah. there, but you overcame those obstacles. And, and, you know, looking at where the place is built now, which we were just at, which they recognized you and honored you for yes. your hard work, dedication, and commitment there, which was, was um, it's, it's like that was like the perfect place for it. The perfect place to build that establishment for the Absolutely. people that are in need. And you know what? There's still more in Monmouth County that need help. But at least we at least we broke the ice because of what you, you what you took on yes. there. And um, and now we're gonna move forward and hopefully hopefully this will be something that people realize is needed through not just the county, the state. But how did you come across that piece of land? That piece it there's a gentleman called Jerry Turning. Now, Jerry Turning at the time was mayor of Titton Falls and also had some <coughs> connection with the Fort Monmouth uh, Authority. And, uh, and he saw that we were struggling to find a place that we would be welcomed and would be most appropriate for what we were hoping to accomplish, and that was a soldier on facility. So he stepped forward and he said, Lillian, I have 11 acres that uh, actually belong to Titton Falls, but I can make it available to you and the organization, and uh, I think we can do it for a dollar. <laughs> I said, well, how could I argue those terms? I mean, I, I negotiate as part of my living. <laughs> there, there was no negotiation here, and so at any rate, his comment was, it's the right thing to do. And that has stayed with me through it all because that's exactly what it was, the right thing to do. So after picking, you know, that was the hardest part. Yeah, it's but right near Seabrook, by the right, way. Right, exactly. But that was the hardest part to get to that point. But then opening up the doors and yeah. putting and filling the beds there, which I'm sure there was, I'm sure from what I heard at your um, recognition there was that there's a waiting list now. Yes, there, there is. Uh, but there has, I'm sure, there's a structure of how they pay rent and stuff like that. And it goes by their, I, I would think, their income and their needs. To a degree, yes. And their needs, and I would think. Needs, so, um, and, and who created that? Is that part of the Soldier On process? Well, yes and no. It uh, They're affiliated only because of someone like Jack Downing with the VA, the Veterans Administration. And that functions out of Washington. And, uh, and I would say monthly. Jack Downey would make a visit there and keep them very much apprised of what he was focusing on and how important this was. And he didn't miss a beat. So at any rate, that's really uh, that's how that's we special. Came so like do the veterans um, that that is there a certain need to um, to be able to require them to go inside this establishment? Well, uh, they do look at at income. Sure. The focus is on on uh, low and moderate income. Uh, that's a type of housing, and uh, also they do get. And most of them have been retired from the service with some disability, so they do get a stipend from the government, and it's from that money that they're able to pay rent. The hope is, in the end, that that will eventually transition into ownership, and they will own their unit. So it. Oh, so there's a potential at the end, and and for the individual that goes in the door for the first time, that they could potentially own that unit. Absolutely. That's a great program. Yeah, That's it a great is. Program. It is. And and you just have to visit this place. It it just is beyond my expectation. I never thought wow. it would not only how it functions and how it's set up. But architecturally, which I'm very sensitive to, it just is beautiful. Well, it blends, it blends in with the, with the, the area and, 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 the, and the community. And to be honest with you, it's, it's not, I'm not gonna say it's not modern, because it is very modern. But the way it was architecturally designed, it gives a look to a veteran yeah. that a more comfort feeling, a home feeling. That's a very yeah. good point, it's and, true. And uh, yeah. And when That's I was walking there. around it on um, on the Friday night that we were there, it, I was amazed with with the same thing because obviously I like that component to the architectural yeah. side of it, and it, it just it blended into to need that was there for the veterans. But I have to tell you, you know, 
Monmouth County does, you know, they see this, they read it in the newspaper, they read the great things you did with that, and, and you did. You and, and all this, uh, Gary Baldwin, Jerry Turney, everybody that was part of it, um, they see the ribbon cuttings, they see all that, but they don't know the work that the 12 oh, years that went yes. behind it. Yes. So I, as personal as a fellow commissioner of yours, I saw it. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, I want to thank you on behalf of the veterans because they want to thank you. They just don't have the ability yeah. to be here having a segment with show yeah. with Lillian Barry. So, um, but they, but they want to thank you. So I want to thank you on behalf of them because I know that each and every one of them that are in there, so much appreciated. And um, your dedication and commitment, it, it, um, it was amazing. It was, oh, thank you, Director. That's it, uh, very nice. Of it, it really was. It was up. great. And um, so where do the viewers go to find out information about this? Well... I'll tell you, first of all, the structure itself, I would recommend that everyone go in and take a look around because I agree. you don't see it all from the outside. You have to see how it's going to function on the inside. And uh, what what they are hopeful of, and I know they, they'll accomplish this, is to create a community for these people, that they have a home, that they can have roots and that's very important to them. You could see that. You could see, and, and you could just see, by the way, what they designed with some of the programs and everything that they're trying to create or they're going to give it their best to try to create a, a community type, a home feeling where people get to know each other. These vets get to know each other. These vets become friends. And, yes, uh, exactly. So I want to thank you. Um, <laughs> this, was, this was something really special. I know, I know it was special and passionate to you personally and professionally. And, um, you know, you don't hear it many times, but the people in Monmouth County really appreciate what you did there. Well, it was, it was special. And, and um, on behalf of, of the rest of the commissioners, thank you, because that made us look real good. And uh, you did a great job. Well, it was good to have your support. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you for coming to Monmouth in Focus, uh, another one of our segments. I want to thank three older commissioner. I might say that numerous times. You can go Barry, back to Barry. Barry um, and I uh, look forward to seeing the rest of the, the public in some more shows and giving me information about the community.